Ladies and gentlemen, we're back at our Rebel Outpost build, and I have another tutorial for you. I wanted to originally, let me go to the blueprints, show you, where are you? I think it was this, this was over here. This was part of the, you had to build this and then to upgrade your Rebel Outpost. We took that out and I wanted something similar over here but i was not a fan of these just as is like this so i came up with and this is inspiration from the moderns i know the modernists did a uh, chicken coop which was pretty cool uh, i'll put that link in the description but that's just pretty much what i uh i came up with Kind of using a little version of, of that over there, brought into over here. But the other thing I did was I added storage in the back. Brought in, uh, not necessarily diesel storage shed, but it was the same size. So I figured why not put that in there as well as we got a little one over here because we can't go, we can't go three high here the way it's built. So we the other two then come on this side, so. And depending how you built this, you can put machines in there and maybe have two chests on this side. I thought this was pretty cool, you know, to spruce up the, uh, the animals, uh, house for them, as well as we get some storage out of it. Cause I did, I don't know if I share this. I was expanding over here with more storage, but I didn't want to go that high cause it was blocking that. I didn't like that. So I remember there was a fence here. I took that out and just kind of made this for now. So we got more storage here. So yeah, I thought this was a pretty cool idea. Brought in a little bit of the uh, the wall that we did with the lighting. A little bit of ventilation for him. He goes in and out of here, no problem. Sometimes he comes up here and then he just disappears into, <laughs> at night he'll disappear into there. And then uh, Grauf comes over here and he works, he keeps up on him. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this started for you guys. All right, we're gonna go use this space right over here. All right, guys, morning is here. Cluck Norris is out of his uh, <laughs> his uh, luxury uh, home over there. Uh, I'm not sure we're gonna put the other two because we have two more to build. I think I'm gonna spread them out. Um, eventually, I am gonna build something. I have a couple of ideas. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna go with yet. And as well as the shack is down, uh, they are all living in there now, guys. You can see they're still coming out of there. They're sleeping in there with no issues. So that worked out really well. All right, so let's get started on this. And depending where... I would start with the front because that way you can move it around if you're not liking it. Where Before you get too deep into the build, you can uh, destroy it and then move it. Because these first pieces uh, that we put down will help you decide that. Looking for castle wall number two, and it'll go right up against the the those steps coming out. So I go back up one to its red, and then move up one to its green. Again, just bump up right up against it. Okay, so two of those just like that. All right, then you're gonna go grab go go down to half walls, and grab castle half wall, and then you're just gonna bring it down. Okay, and then I covered mine up with the vent. That way it wasn't completely flat like that. You can see it from here. All right, back in the walls. And you're looking for Rebel Castle Corner. Again, how you place these guys, just like I've said in previous tutorials, uh, I just face them facing each other, but that's how I did that. And you can swap pieces out. Just make sure they're the same size, okay? Uh, you can use either one of these. Actually, even this as well. Uh, but I, I think I just use this one here. Again, it doesn't make a difference. Just swap out pieces, guys, whatever you see fit. Just make sure it's the uh, same size. Then I went with the Rebel Corner. And castle Wall number two. That was a Castle Wall number two here and here. I don't know if I mentioned that. Just I think I just <laughs> grabbed it. All right. Come on this side. Uh, castle wall number three. You're gonna put two of these next to each other. All right, then 
castle corner should have been your favorites. I faced it this way. And a castle wall uh, number two next to that. And then two castle wall number threes. Uh, right off, you're gonna go right off of the uh, uh, the corner that you put in. Oh, that's wrong. If you want, you could take this out. That way you know for sure, and then you can put that back in. So one there, one there. So two, two number threes, and then a two. There you go. And then now you can put the bat. Okay. So that's how you should look all the way around, guys. At this point. Then you go into building part, stairs, uh, nightly stairs. Again, you can use this one. Uh, I'll show you how it looks with this one, just, just so you can see. Uh, same thing as the other one that we did, the, the larger build. Make sure it's three steps out. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, then just like we did over there, you're gonna count seven steps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the, the gray one, you're gonna grab castle wall number three. Make sure it's up against it. Put that there. And you'll go back to castle corner. Turn that in. Okay. Let's put the floors in really quick. You can go down to your uh, castle thin floor number two. Put two of those there. And then castle thin floor number five. Guys, if you don't want to use this floor, that's fine. You could use whatever, whatever the floor you want. Just make sure it's the same size. Okay. So again, I walk around. It should look like this. All the walls are done. Okay. Okay, go into roofs. Uh, then you're gonna come down to trims. Actually, gonna keep going. Let's go down to uh, other. Then you're gonna put this piece in. Now this piece, I think it's even with the gray. See how that gray stripe should be even with that gray. Let me go up the top really quick. Yeah, you see how it's up just a little bit. Let's grab. Uh, stay in there to go up to uh, the trims. You're gonna grab, we're using the uh, nightly. Oh, you don't have nightly though. Shoot. Hang on a second. I'm gonna do two roofs because this is with the nightly. And then I'll show you how it looks without the nightly because some of you might not have the nightly. So let's do the nightly first. After you uh, put that piece up there, you need to go to nightly uh, corner. Put one all in each corner here, here. This one's gonna go all the way out this way. The same height. Oh, this has gotta go up one more higher. Once you get the corner pieces in, it'd be easier to just to, to see where this needs to go. There, I think it's the same, right there, same level now. Uh, this floor right here, so we can finish the uh, the wall. This goes going to floors. This is castle number three. Just make sure it's even with the, the stairs. All right. And then you can put another corner corner there. Okay. And then this go back into roofs. Gonna be a single here. Two by two by three. Two by two by three there. We're gonna go with the uh, two by sixteen by three. Let's see if it could snap to. If not, you just level it out and then go across. That's gonna get covered by the floor, so don't worry about that. And then this is a two by eight by three. Here's a two by eight by three. 
And then I think I just put a single here because the floor, I put a floor piece there. And I think this is another two. No, that's not a two eight by three. This is a two by four by three. And then we have to put a single two by two by three. There you go, that's done. And then the floor. Uh, castle wide floor, 16 by 16 by one. Just make sure it's even with the, uh, the brown pieces there. You can even snap to it. It should go right in, okay? Scroll up to your thin pieces. Leave, that's gonna be 12 by two by one. And then this should be a six by two by one. There you go. Your floor's done. Guys, you can put whatever you want up here. I think I just put a little antenna for now. That's how it looks with the nightly. Let's see what we can come up with with the, uh, the non-nightly for those who don't have that kit. Okay, I took the, uh, the trim down up top. You're probably gonna have to take off this piece right here too. All right, and then you can go back into, let's go in, is it in fences? No, it's still in for roofs. So you go to roofs. And then you're gonna have to use the, the battlements. This is from Majestic Manor. And you can just put the corner piece. Actually here, you can do a couple of options now, guys. You can actually go with the, uh, the other, the Rebel Castle pieces. Just like how we did uh, over there, those two, and on the back side. Okay. Yeah, make just make sure that it the uh, the red part of this stuff is facing out. So any of these battlements should fit. Again, the corners is entirely up to you. You don't have to rebel stuff every time that, that works out perfect for that corner right there Let's see if we can put one of these here look it works all the way across that's good uh, let's put this one I don't think we use this one yet that uh, put an extra antenna if we want for a single and let's just finish off uh, this right here that look it looks like uh, two by two nope this one here, two by eight by three. Uh, let's go with another, actually, well, you can use Imperial too. If you don't mind it. Let's see, that's gonna be a two by six by three. This piece will have to come out. Actually, no, it's on top of that. All right, uh, let's see. That is there. Two by eight by three. Yeah, we're good. The floor can stay like the only all the floor piece we had to take out was uh, that front one. Let's, take, let's go step down. So that's how it looks with the uh, the battlement guys. And then decorate how you want. Let's see. We can still put. I have it. Uh, no, it's in here. I'll wait for daylight, guys. All right, guys, the sun's coming up, but it's raining. Another option for uh, the covering here, since we don't have the, if you don't have the nightly, you go into roofs and then, actually, no, sorry, it's in supports. There you go. There's that one. And this other one's a little bit bigger, but it actually looks pretty cool. This one here, the Rebel Outpost uh, awning, 18 by 20 by 12. Another option there. And then as far as on the side, I think I just put, uh, let's see, I think it's all, all these are in here. Yeah, I put one of these here. And then on the back post, under decoration, these are here. Put those at whatever height you want. 
and you can light it up how you want to see this is uh i need a plastoid hang on either of those banners can go there lighting that uh let's see under decorations again the vent animals gotta breathe right <laughs> guys and then the wall is entirely up to you that's under that's on this build right there just go to the marker that'll help you build that if not let me know if i need to do a separate tutorial for this for this wall guys we can do that as well but then you can see again how it looks with those stairs and then the plane stairs and depending, depending how you like, uh, want it, guys, it's preference. And then you, again, you can put the storage in, put your first chest down, and then you can put the, the, the same flooring you put at the bottom is what would go above it, okay? You're, you're only gonna be able to put uh, too high on with the uh, larger chest. All right, there you go, guys. That is how I'm doing my, uh, my animals uh, barn. All right, and those who made it to the end, you're gonna, I'm gonna go show you how I did the most Isley. All right, and those, again, those who made it to the end, this is how I have the uh, most Isley one right now. I'll do a tutorial on this next, but you kind of get to see in advance. I actually like this one a lot. This one's got a lot more, uh, more detail to it. Sorry about that. But uh, let me know if you have any questions. Holler, guys, and uh, I will try to answer them. But... Uh, the next tutorial will be this one, okay? This is, we'll catch you on the next one.